In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod 10.2. My name is TL King. This is Technologic 360. Let's get technological. So first up, we are going to go to these websites. The first one is the page where you are going to download Cyanogen Mod. Now, first off, just find your phone. So, look through the pages. Now, they are in code, so just highlight your mouse over it and it's going to tell you. And make sure you click the stable version unless you want to install a nightly uh, and download that file. After don't doing so, we're going to go to the next page to download the Google Apps. Now, just click the latest apps and just wait a little bit for the file to download. After having the files, connect your phone to your computer, make sure it has developer options enabled, and find a place where you can set up the files and you can find them easily. I'm just gonna install them, I mean set them up in my SD card right on the root, and that should be easy to find. So and always make sure to back up your files. So I like to use Go Backup to back up my contacts, phone calls, text messages, and so on and titanium backup to back up my f apps. Uh, make sure you, do, you don't back up the root files for your phone. Just back up, I don't know, apps like games and so on that you might need or that you already have a game saved or whatever. So here I'm showing you that I do have an older version of Android, really old, and I'm gonna update it to a newer version. So also make sure to go into the Google Play Store and download ROM Manager. Uh, there are other managers such as Goo Manager, but I quite like ROM Manager instead, and I already had it downloaded. So before you do that, you can also back up your uh, current OS or firmware, running firmware for your phone if you wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to do so. But here, make sure you also have installed Clockwork Mod, search it up in another video, and click into Reboot into System Recovery. And just we're gonna wait a little bit and this is gonna set you up for the reboot instead of powering off and then holding the power home and button up it's much much easier so now we're gonna before you can start doing everything make sure you click wipe partition delete all user data and just use the volume rocker and the power button to install this um, this shouldn't take that long. It's not a long process. You see, data wipe complete. It was a very fast process. Now, as you can see by the top, it's going to say wipe cache. And now we're going to click that. Again, power button to accept. Scroll down until you click yes. And we're going to wait a couple of seconds again. And after doing so, we're going to find the fi files. I'm going to click into install SD, uh, zip from SD card. I'm going to go down to choose zip from external SD card, as that's where my files are. Again, your files might be in a separate place. Separate place. And I'm going to go scroll down until I see CM10.2. We're going to install that first. Again, scroll down and accept. This shouldn't take long, but I'm still going to skip it just in case. And now after it's installed, we're going to install the Google Apps or G Apps. Um, so I chose something differently here. But again, we're going to go install zip from SD card, choose from zip from external, and now go back to Gaps, G Apps. <laughs> I always call it Gaps. And click Yes. Again, this shouldn't take long. As you can see here, it's installing. We're just going to wait a little bit. Okay, and it should be done now. Now, before we can finish this process, go back and wipe your cache one more time just to make sure everything's well. Click yes. And it's done. And now that everything is done, let's click uh, reboot and that should be the first button 
if you have a different clockwork um, clockwork mode, um, it should almost be the same. Just follow kind of the same processes. I know there's one that's touch. Again, it shouldn't be a different problem. And we're gonna wait. And as usual, whenever you install a new uh, system, it's gonna take a very long time. So I'm gonna skip that process. Also, I'm gonna click the setup, skip the setup process as that is usually standard. And now here, as you can see, I'm entered the new CM firmware. And again, there's not much to do. By this time, there's uh, the new Android KitKat. So this is very older version, but it's still a quick, a quick uh, overview of what you can do on Cyanogen Mod. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Also like me on Facebook. With that said, I am not a god. I do make mistakes. Anyway, my technology, see you on the next video.